All right, and welcome back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. Tommy and Gus are in the other room. Uh, we're going to play the game I'm about to show you in a little bit, but I figured I'd do a quick walkthrough since it's meant to be solo. Um, do a quick walkthrough so I know how to play it so I can show them. Um, solo where you're doing it all by uh, with each other. The game is called Cavern. It is, by, uh, it is not yet released. It, I believe he's getting ready to do a Kickstarter by designed by Brad Hiscock. Uh, and he put out a call for folks to have a look at it. It's uh, one or more players, 10 to 15 minutes each map. And there are five maps that we have, so presumably there'll be more. Ages 10 and up. So I figured it'd be perfect for, for us to play. It's a roll and write uh, based on a d20 where you're exploring a dungeon, leveling up, and then exiting the dungeon and defeating bosses and monsters. And like I said, there are five maps. So uh, you win this map and then you can go on to the next one or you can simply end the game and add up your points. So as a roll, the roll and writes are, we're going to be writing directly on this page. I've got uh, dry erase pages for when we play in a little bit. So the first thing you do um, is you roll a dice to figure out what your movement is. And there's a table. All right, so I got a 13. There's a table in the book that tells you what you do. So a 13, 11 to 13, I can move one space in any direction. Uh, one through about 10, you can only move orthogonally. 11 through 20, you can move in any direction. The higher the number on either side, the more number of movements that you get. The map's divided into different squares. Uh, blank spaces are uh, uh, one movement each. Uh, dark gray spaces are two movements each. These extra dark are cavern walls and they're impassable. Uh, rough also takes two movement each. And every time you end your movement in uh, one of these spaces that is blank, that doesn't have a symbol on it, you roll for an event. These are where monsters are. And the, uh, I'm sorry, you roll for a trap, not an event. These are events. So moving through the dungeon, you can be trapped three times or you, and then you're knocked out. Or you can land on one of these squares and you'll have some random event. There's also other symbols on this map. There's a sword, which is a weapon. Weapons let you add to your dice roll when you're fighting monsters. So instead of just rolling a 13, you could use a weapon by crossing it out if after you've collected it and add 5 to that. And monsters need uh, a, a 12 or better to hit. So uh, there's a status here to keep track of things. You'll collect stuff as you go through the dungeon. These items do different things. Shields give you shield hearts. Uh, bone arrow let you shoot monsters from the square next to each other. If I believe uh, this gives you extra movement uh, and some other things that are in the... There's a table that describes them. If you roll a 20, you automatically succeed. And each time you roll a 20, you get a, a, a bonus. You keep track of the number of monsters you killed here. And then at some point... There might be a floor boss that you have that you discover through uh, an event or uh, some other uh, some other mechanism where you have to fight him and you have to you have to beat him twice and you get extra points for beating him at the end of the game. And then there's coins and, and gems. Uh, you have three hearts. If you lose all three hearts, you're knocked out. If you're knocked out, you're out of the game. I think that's the basics. It's pretty it's pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of rolling. You can only visit each square twice. So as uh, we start here, it looks like, and as we explore, we put one slash through the map. If we come back to that, we put a second slash. And I think that's it. I think I'm ready to start playing. So uh, I rolled a 13. 13 lets me move one movement in any direction. Eight lets me move four, I'm sorry, three, but only orthogonally. Oh, and I'm supposed to roll for a trap. Where's the trap table? 
result of four or less, I've encountered a trap. I got a three, so I got a trap. Now I move three orthogonally. I can go up here, go here, one. <laughs> another trap. Oh, I don't end my, no, I don't end my, I didn't end my thing there, so never mind. Two, three. Now I roll through a trap. That's a 20. I gotta roll it in the dice roller. It doesn't roll really well on here, so no trap this time. Roll for movement. A two. I don't get to move very far at all. And roll for trap. Nope, no trap. 13. Still only lets me move one. I think it lets me move into here. But I can't go anywhere else. Does it let me move into there? No, I think I have to have two to move into there. So I would have to... However, you can move into either of these squares and end your turn with one movement remaining. Okay, so yeah, that ends my turn. And I don't believe I have to check for a trap there. So another two. I'm going to read that as I can do this. Fourteen. That lets me move two in any direction. So one, two. Item! Roll on the item table. I got a seventeen. A seventeen gets me boots. Rough spaces no longer affect my movement. So I circle this and show that I have it. Roll again. 19. Ooh, now I can move four spaces in any direction. No, three spaces in any direction. So, hmm. One. One. One, two, three. Do I want to go for the event or do I want to go for the monster? I think I want to go for the event. So, I can go back through here. One, two, three, one. No, uh, no, I'm here. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll do that. One, two, three. Ended it in a place where I have to check for traps. Twelve, no trap. See three movement orthogonally. Now I want to enter an event. If I enter a square, I got to roll to discover what the event is. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. I'm going to roll the event table. I got an eight. It's the exit I could leave if I wanted to. It should be helpful if we could mark that as the exit. I'm going to put a little circle there. Actually, I'm going to put a circle here so I know that it's the exit. All right, so if I want to exit, i got to come back. So I could end the game here, but I haven't really collected anything <laughs> except for some items. So we want to go back. We want to move. Uh, oh, I got to move three, so I've entered that. Two, three. Check for a trap, Nate. Nate, that lets me go three orthogonally. One, two, three. Check for a trap. 18, no trap. Seven lets me go three orthogonally. I get to ignore this. One, two, 
three. Let's fight a monster. All right, so monsters, or enemies, rather. A seven or less, the account encounter is triggered. Five, the account is triggered. To resolve an encounter, you make an attack roll, requiring resolve 12 or better to defeat the enemy. Got an 18. The enemy is defeated. And what do I get for that? After defeating it, add the tally to the status box, circle the item on the map to indicate they're no longer there. And he's just worth points at the end of it. All right, move again. 16. That's two in any direction. So I'm going here. One. One, two. No trap. Nine lets me go. Three orthogonally. One, two, three. Let's do that. One, two, three. That's an encounter. Or, I'm sorry, an event, rather. One to seven floor boss. Eight to thirteen exit. We've already declared the exit, so it'll or twenty. All right. Four to two to twenty. Eleven. We've already got the exit, so we roll again. Seventeen is a treasure. Treasure table, we get a six, which is a bow. I mean, start an encounter from one from an adjacent space, and then I believe I have to check it off after I use it. All right, movement again 12 is one orthogonally, so we go. Bloop. Six is two. I'm sorry, one in any direction. Two orthogonally. One, two. One, two. No traps. Seventeen. That's three in any direction. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Eighteen or more. The monster is not alerted. within one square. No, I have to I have to roll for this. Fourteen. If you end your movement in one square, you roll for the alert. Fourteen that kills him. Fifteen is two in any direction. One two, so I don't have to roll for traps. Three is one in that roll for a trap. Eight. No trap. Eighteen is three in any direction. So let's go one, two. Roll on the treasure chart. Fourteen gets me an amulet. I no longer take damage from traps. That makes this easier. So that was one, two. Three, four. Uh, it's one in one or two. It's two movement orthogonally. No, I don't think I. Ha I don't know if I have to roll for traps if I don't take damage from them. I did. I rolled a ten, so it wasn't a trap. Thirteen movement. One in any direction. Could roll for the traps anyway. No trap. 19. 19 lets me move. Three in any direction. One, two, three. Let's see what that is. Encounter. Encounter table. Five. One to seven. It's the floor boss. 
and I need, oof, I need a 14 or better to hit him, or I take damage. I got a 9. I take damage. So I need to just remember that's the floor boss. So what I don't understand is I guess I can run away. I'll run away. 16. There's two movement in any direction. So we're gonna go one, two. No trap. I'll go three, another one. No trap. 12 is one in any direction. Go here. Get a sword. Now we're going to go back up and get him. Three. One in any direction. Fifteen lets us go two in any direction. One, two. Eight. Let's go eight. Let's go three orthogonally. So we're going to go here. Fight our boss monster. Thirteen plus five. Kills our boss monster once. Now, can I fight him again, or do I have to come back into him? No, I think I can only fight him here. Finish your movement without having to battle there. Must physically move to have another encounter. All right, so I can't. I have to physically move to be able to encounter him again. Twelve lets me go uh, there. Oh, I can have another encounter with him. All right, except for <laughs> except for he's gonna kill me. Eight miss. Another day. All right, time to run away. Seventeen, three in any direction. One, two, three. Twenty. One, two, three, four. Ten. That's four in one, two, three, four. Thirteen lets me go one. Thirteen lets me go one. Twelve lets me go one. Two lets me go one. Eleven lets me go one, and I exit. All right. So I wasn't able to beat the boss monster because I didn't have enough swords. I only had two hearts. So we start each three hearts. Okay, where's the leveling and rerolls? Leveling up requires pride additional safe, blah, blah, blah. We didn't. You can only level Yep. So we did not level up. We didn't get any 20s. Game, okay, we count your points. You can go to the next floor, but I think I get it. So per item collected. Per weapon collected, too, if unused. So one per item. One, two, three, because I used the weapon. No coins. I got three points. No successes. Unused shield hearts. I didn't have any. Minus three. Oh, that's great. Uh, minus three for each heart missing. So, one, two, three, four. Minus three is one point. I have a rank of... I have a rank of one of townsfolk. So, I only got one point. Rank of townsfolk. Okay. Well, that's how the game works. I'm going to show it to the boys. Actually, I might ask Brad on Facebook about some clarifying some rules, and then we'll play it again in a little bit. Thanks a lot.